Thank you so much, Father. Uh, my name is Ben Clare. I'm a parishioner here at St. Ignatius Parish. I have been since I was eight years old in the third grade. I graduated from St. Ignatius in 2010, and I'm also a seminarian at Mount St. Mary's Seminary, studying for the Archdiocese of Cincinnati here in Cincinnati. So before I do anything else, I want to say thank you so much for letting me be here. Thank you to Father Earl and Father Christian for inviting me to talk on Vocations Awareness Week. It really is a joy to speak before you here at my own parish. Um, and to talk a little bit about my vocation. So uh, vocation comes from the Latin word meaning to call, as many of you know. And the Lord has a call for each and every one of us in our lives. It's a call that is challenging, certainly, as we know life is, but it's also one that leaves, leads to life and life in abundance. Um, I experienced some of my call to the priesthood, as I'm discerning, um, when I was at a wedding for a friend. So after I graduated from the university, I worked for two years. I was in a relationship, uh, and after about nine, ten months, the relationship ended, and I was going to a number of my friends' weddings, and I was at a friend's wedding in Maryland, and they were up there on the altar saying, exchanging vows, you know, I'll be with you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. And I was praying before the Lord, you know, my relationship had just ended with this lovely woman, and I was wondering, should I discern the priesthood? I had always kind of had a desire for the priesthood since I was young, but I wasn't quite sure. And so I was praying, Lord, what's your will for me in all of this? These people are giving their lives away, as Father talked about. They're making a sacrifice of themselves to another to bring life. What's your will for me? And I had heard in the quiet of my heart, kind of in the still silence, Benjamin, who will marry my people? Who will be with them in good times and in bad times, for better or for worse, in sickness and health? Who will sacrifice their life that they might have life? And out of the desire of my heart, I said, Lord, I, I would love to do that. I would love to be married to your people, to, be, to sacrifice my life for the good of others, for the good of the community. So I reached out to my vocation director, and I, just start, I started to pursue the priesthood. I am now in my third year of seven, which means I have four more years to go, in case you're curious, and I'm 25 years old. And I'm here just to say, basically from my story, that uh, to thank you for your prayers and for your support in my vocation all these years um, in St. Ignatius Parish community here. But I also want to implore you to pray for your own vocation. Many of you have already discovered your own vocation, married, perhaps some of you even in religious life. And so I pray and ask for you to pray for the grace to live out that vocation fully and freely. But many of us here are still discerning. And so I ask for you to pray on behalf of yourself and your loved ones, as well as to have the courage and the boldness, the bravery, to ask yourself, is the Lord calling me to the priesthood? Is the Lord calling me to the religious life? To ask your kids, your grandkids, your friends, have you ever thought about it? Have you ever prayed to the Lord? So thank you so much for listening to me today. Thank you for your support and your prayers. I implore you to continue to pray. And if you discern in your own life, maybe a potential call to the priesthood or religious life to talk to Deacon Mike or Father Christian or Father Earl. Thank you very much. God bless. Be assured of my prayers.